Hello, here I am again, Ebo Ann, meaning business, ready to share with you my thoughts for today. Today, I want to us to look at the think, feel, do cycle. It always starts in our minds. What we think about eventually leads to the actions. What we think about eventually affects how we feel. So what are you thinking about? What are your beliefs? What are your ideas? Um, what are your interpretations? What's going on in your mind? It will determine what you do in life. So I want us to think about those things, the ideas we have, things you've always wanted to do. Um, they're there at the back of your mind. You're thinking about them, but you've not realized them. I would encourage you to write them down write down your ideas. And as you af after you have written down your ideas, then think about your beliefs. What are those things you stand for, those things you are interested in, which you'd like to see done, those things you would um, you'd love to see happening in your life? What do you believe in? What do you stand for? What, um, what are those things when something happens they tickle your mind, they get you thinking. What do you think about? What are your ideas? What do you, what are your beliefs? Write your beliefs down. Then what are your interpretations about what you think about and your ideas? Those are things one needs to write about as well. Because when, when you know what you're thinking about, when you know what's on your mind, that will drive you into action and it will dri drive you into how you feel. And these feel uh, feed into each other. What you think, what you feel. Let's look at the feelings. What are your emotions? Feelings is all about emotions, physical sensations. You, can, you could feel, um, you. many times we say, I feel like having a drink. It's because there's that emotion or that uh, physical sensation of a desire to drink something. So even in life, in our lives, in our businesses, there are those th things you feel like doing. You feel like um, starting something new. You feel like having uh, uh, another stream of income. So write down those feelings you get when you have thought about an idea the feelings you get when you have a belief. So this is homework for you, which you can do. After you've written down your ideas, how do they make you feel? When you think about um, an idea, the idea could be, I want to start a baking business. How does it make you feel? Um, are you petrified? Are you anxious? Are you ready to go for it? Does it make you feel happy and fulfilled when you bake? So those are the things you need to note in life. The feelings you get when you're doing something. Are you happy when you're, when you're teaching? Are you happy when you're coaching people? Are you happy when you're giving advice? So those are the things you should incorporate in your life. Things which make you feel happy. Things which make you feel appreciated. Things which make you feel worthwhile in life. Then the physical sensations. Um, uh, for example, the physical sensations are, I mentioned the first one, um, a desire to drink something, a desire to eat, uh, a physical sensation. Uh, another one could be, let's look at the five senses we have. We have sight, we have, um, we have um, the, um, the nose, which helps us um, smell something, that's a sensation. Even when we eat, when we use our mouth, that's another sensation. What we hear is also another sensation. I'll concentrate on the one of hearing because the what we hear really affects the way we feel. If you hear always uh, those uh, negative voices telling you you'll amount to nothing, you're not able to do this, that is exactly what will 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 be on your mind, you'll be thinking about that, and then eventually it will affect what you do or what you do not do in that case. 
It might be if you've been told you will not be able to amount to anything, it will hinder your progress in getting anything done. So be careful what you allow to be said over you or go to places or interact with people who are telling you negative things. Instead, replace that with listening to things which edify you, listen to things which uh, encourage you, which um, give you hope that you can be able to ac accomplish much in life. So listen to those voices which are positive, which are encouraging you, which are appreciating you, which are causing you to go forward in whatever you do. So that is the part of the field. Then the third part of the cycle is do. Do is the behaviors. When you think, you feel, it will lead to doing. It's actually a cycle. It goes round and round. So what you do, the behaviors, what you are known for, are you known for keeping time? Are you known for um, uh, accomplishing tasks you set out to do? Are you known for that? It all starts with the mind. What are you thinking about? What do you feel when you do something? Do you feel happy when you keep time? Do you feel happy when you accomplish the different tasks you've set out to do? So that will encourage you in life. So I would like you to look at the think, feel, do cycle in your life. Think, which includes the ideas, the beliefs, and the interpretations you have of those things in life. Then the feel is the emotions, the physical sensations, which you um, which you ex uh, experience each and every day, as long as you are alive. There are those things which make you feel happy or make you feel sad. Think about those things. Then do. What are those things you regularly do, the behaviors you regularly do? Think about those things as well. Words and thoughts really matter. I want to dwell on that because our words and our thoughts are what eventually turn into beliefs and then they become our reality. So we have to be careful what we fill our minds with, what we think about, and then that will, will eventually turn into our beliefs. If you keep hearing negative um, thoughts and negative voices, listen to them, it will soon become your belief. So be careful what you listen to. That brings me to a point where, for example, it's um, for those of us um, who go to church, who believe, um, have a certain faith, and we believe in something, when we keep hearing about that, if we listen, if we hear, if we listen to those talking about our beliefs, they become grounded in us and then we live for them. That's what it turns out to be. But if you, um, you're not careful what you're thinking about, it will eventually de um, deteriorate you and then make you lose your balance in life. So words and thoughts really matter. Be careful what you think about. Be careful what you say, what comes out of your mouth. When you speak it out, you actually listen to it and it can become your reality. Just as the good book says, whatever you feel your heart with, heart with will come out in your mouth. So that's something we really need to think about. So as we think, do and feel, think about yourself, think about your business, think about your life. What are those things you want to think about? What are those things you want to get done? It all starts in the mind. Start thinking about them. Write down your ideas. Imagine what you will feel when you accomplish those tasks in your life and then go for it. Go for those um, things and do them. And then uh, in the last part, I would like to talk about another concept of sense, shift, and act. It's also um, associated with the think, do, and feel cycle. When you sense, you gain an awareness of how your thoughts and your feelings will influence your behavior. That is, many times we say, I sense that this project will not work out well. You are becoming aware of your thoughts, your feelings, and it will influence whether you go ahead and do that project or not. 
And then when we talk about shift, it's to reframe your negative thoughts, to develop the positive mindset, mindset and mental habits. And then that will enable you to act. Many times we need to shift from the bad to the good. We need to shift from the negative to the positive. We need to shift physically move away from the negative people in our lives and move towards the good people, the positive people in our lives so that we can listen to such people. And that will help us to act, act, set those smart goals, smart being um, the smart goals being the goals which you can actually achieve, you know, smart goals in life, for your life, for your business, it's very important to set them. And then take that action towards work and be able to do what you have set out to do. Without any action, we cannot accomplish much in life, in our businesses, in our own personal development, if we do not act. So the acronym for ACT is, um, there is an acronym for ACT. So act, get out there, think about what you're going to do, sense, uh, have a sense that you're gaining awareness of what you're going to do, whether it will be good, whether it will accomplish much in whatever you do, then shift your mindset in order to achieve what you want to do. Then go ahead and act with the knowledge that whatever started off in your mind as an idea, as a thought, can become a reality. So I'll bring this to a close for today. Um, I've talked about our thoughts, think well, think positively, then assess your feelings. How do you feel about a certain idea which has come to your mind? Go ahead and do it. Another way of looking at it is the sense, sense the awareness of what you have to do, how you feel, the thoughts, the feelings that they will be able to influence the way you behave. And then reframe, reframe, that is shifting, shifting away from the bad to the good, from the negative to the positive, that will set you on a platform where you can set up your goals and achieve them and do them because you'll have moved from one negative place to a positive place. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'm Ebo Ann and Bachaita of Cedar Palms meaning business with you, sharing insights about how to do business in this age and offering coaching services as well, where we can have a journey where you bounce back your ideas with me. We can talk. Um, um, I'll be listening and guiding you along the way of making yourself um, a better person in your personal life, in your business. Let's have a chat. I'll, I'll share a link where you can book book um, appointments with me. I'll share my WhatsApp number where you can book appointments with me so that we can talk. It's better when you talk to somebody, somebody listens to you, somebody um, guides you on the path of being able to make the right decisions in your life, in your career, and in your business. So it's bye-bye from me. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Anne Bajaita, Ebo Anne, Men's Business. Bye.